You broke my heart, I'm still in mourning. You couldn't give me the slightest warning. I'm missing you every morning. Will it ever be the same? I can't help walking by your place. I know we all have different tastes, but can burgers make a happy face? You had to change your name. I hop no, I hop no. What about the pancakes I used to know? Your international house of lies would rather make burgers and fries while well, we say no to I hop yo. Approved. Where did my favorite restaurant go? Overruled. The world keeps changing in a million ways, and the sun never rises on identical days. But nothing can really take the place of the perfect family restaurant. Without pancakes, we'll get a lot thinner. Your breakfast menu was clearly a winner. Please bring back breakfast for dinner. It's what the people want. I hop no, I hop no. I need French toast and a cup of joe. You have never let me down. So don't take the biscuits or the hash browns. Please say no. Where did my favorite restaurant go? We're coming to you live from the International Breakfast Summit where President Pancake has finally agreed to meet with the Breakfast Activist Alliance. President Pancake, what can you tell us about the Declaration of Breakfast Equality? Has Mrs. Butterworth forgiven you for that business with Aunt Jemima? Are you and Uncle Jemima on speaking terms? This is more than just a win for pancakes or burgers. This is a win for food all across the menu. Today was the result of years of hard work and years of being turned down and rejected. But as Gandhi would say, be the change you wish to see in the world. The Declaration of Breakfast Equality was signed today by both President Pancake and breakfast activist John Alexander Warner. From this point forward, the restaurant formerly known as IHOP will continue serving its popular breakfast menu while also exploring new food possibilities. IHOP GO! IHOP GO! Show the world even you can grow! Now I can see the risk you're taking, so give me a burger with cheese!